Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, I am going to be coloring my hair dark today. Um, I don't know if it's because we're stuck in quarantine or it's like my three or four year cycle. If you look back at my Instagram, um, it's like every three to four years I will go dark and then struggle for a year to get my hair back blonde again but I don't know once I get it in my head that I want to go dark it's like you can't tell me any different like I don't know I just get fixated on it and I usually kind of just come out of, come up with it out of nowhere I'll just like a couple days or a week before I do it I'll just be looking back at old pictures and being like oh my hair dark again and then I just get obsessed with it and I just have to do it so yeah I think we are going to go dark today so I will kind of show you the two-step process because my hair is so light you have to do you have to fill it first with another color so I will have to color it twice and just a disclaimer I have been a hairstylist for probably about 18 years yeah, 18 years now, so I don't just, like, I don't, when I bleach my hair, when I do my hair, it's not me just experimenting or me self-taught doing it at home. Like, I've been professionally taught how to do hair and have been doing hair for that long, so, um, yeah, I'm not just going to grab a box dye at this store and just throwing a box dye on. I have professional hair color. So if you guys would like to see me go from blonde to dark, uh, and if you're screaming at your screen right now, I hear you, I just, I don't know, I just, once I just want to do it, I just want to do it, so hopefully you like it. If you don't, please don't tell me because I can't go back blonde for a really long time after it, so. Just keep it to yourself if you prefer me blonde, but yes, so if you want to see the process, then just keep watching. Alright, now that I have the color on, I'm going to let it process for about 30 minutes. So I used uh, 6NN, 6B, and 6G to fill it with. I used mainly 6NN. I'm not much for measuring, so I can't really tell you precise measurements, but I just want it to be um, a cooler brown, so I didn't want to mix too much 6G in so that when it starts fading, it's really gold, uh, but when you're going darker, you need to add the G in um, or else your hair will just look so like smoky and just like really dull um, so hopefully it doesn't look too dull because I did mainly use 6NN so yeah I'm gonna let this process for 30 minutes wash it out and then put in the darker color all right so this is where we are at with the fill it's like a nice cool brown and it actually deposited 
really good for how light my hair was. So now that it's filled, I'm going to put the darker color over top. I'm done applying the 5NN and I just put a shower cap on my head because I don't want the color to dry out. I really saturated it through. That's the biggest issue uh, when you're going from a really, really light color to a dark color. It's just the saturation of the color and making sure it's not patchy. So I don't have any other dark 5NN on hand so I just went through for a while combed it through and then put the shower cap on my head so the color stays moist and deposits very well all right so this is what it looks like after I've applied the 5NN it's still damp um, but it's a nice cool flat dark brown so I think that I will come back tomorrow and show you guys what it looks like when my self tanner has set in I have some makeup on and it's dried and curled but it's a big change but I think something I don't know sometimes you just need a change and just need to experiment and go for it and yeah so I will come back tomorrow and show you guys what it looks like. All right, it is the next day after I colored my hair and curled it. And now I'm just going to put some makeup on and just kind of do a little get ready. 
with the moi i already put my foundation on and did my eyebrows so now i'm going to go into my contour and today i'm going to use the huda beauty tantour as my contour so yeah it's i'm excited that i just went ahead and did it and shocked a couple people yesterday outside my house no one really kind of recognized me until I got up face to face with them because I didn't really tell anybody I was dyeing my hair dark but it's not uh, a big surprise because I like I said I will do this probably every about three to four years I just get I don't know I just get tired of just the same thing and I'm just like one of those people like it either has to be the darkest dark or like the whitest white or like short hair or long hair I don't like the in-between colors or the in-between hair phases like I look back at my Instagram account and when I was going back blonde from being this dark about four years ago like I had not posted a picture for almost a year because I just didn't like the in-between hair length that I had and the like grassy orange color but I th will document that now uh, whenever I take that long journey back to platinum I will definitely show you guys how I do it and how kind of it's a tedious painstaking process so it's not you can't just go to a hairdresser and have dark dark hair even like dirty blonde hair you can't just get platinum overnight you have to do it in stages for my concealer I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline fit me in light and I did repurchase this at the drugstore the other day. They had it on sale, so I picked up some more because I just, out of all of the drugstore concealers, this is my favorite for sure. Before I started this video, uh, just my oldest son's teacher had called to ask. Um, they had to clean up like the classrooms and get rid of all the kids stuff for pickup like because we're not going back and it was kind of sad just to it was nice to talk to her but it was just kind of sad remembering like the year that wasn't like he's graduating this year and going to high school and He's not really going to be able to kind of say goodbye to his school, say goodbye to his friends and his teacher that he's been with for the past couple of years. So that was kind of sad. You start to remember like as much as of a routine we got into throughout uh, this quarantine, there's little things that remind you of what was going on before and just things that you kind of miss so it was nice to talk to her but it was also it was a little sad now I'm gonna go in with the peach blur um, translucent smoothing finishing powder to set under my eyes I really really like this one just it does have like a blurring effect I find and it's just you can almost see, I can see, I don't know, that there's like a difference there and it's just really light and smells nice and isn't powdery and like there's a little bit of a brightening to it because it's like peachy, not just white or close to white. I really love this. We've been getting a lot of progress done on the deck um, yesterday. My husband and our neighbor got to it and like have most of the deck up and it's really that is so that's surreal for me. I did not see us getting a deck this year 
craven in the near future so i'm really really excited about that so i can't wait to show you guys in another video i'm just taking little videos and then i'm going to put it all together in just a time lapse of the construction of the deck and our patio door for my bronzer today i'm going to use the milani Sunkiss silky matte bronzing powder really been enjoying this lately for bronzer and for eyeshadow really like using this as an eyeshadow as well and we've lucked out it's been so nice unseasonably warm for may for this time of the month for us so it went from just kind of dreary cold to like that's how our weather is here we will have like it's like winter and then you don't have an in-between it goes to summer so quickly like our springs are very very short our winters are long summer is short like our falls a little bit longer but yeah it just goes from winter to summer like that all right i'm gonna try out the nyx professional makeup dewy finishing setting spray i picked this up too along with um i picked up the bioderma uh micellar water it smells really nice it almost has like a light florally smell to it and it's for sensitive skin and i used that yesterday and really really liked it so yeah that was really good all right so i'm gonna try out this setting spray before i put on my highlighter let's, let's see. you probably hear my husband outside he was just picking up some more wood planks for the deck and now the dog is barking and my zara order came in so I'm going to do my second set of outfits uh, that I've ordered through quarantine. I'm going to do another little clothing haul soon. It's very wet. When it comes out, um, it's not a fine mist. You can really feel that you're spraying yourself with something. Alright, so I just put on my mascara eyeliner and did my lips. And now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline cheek heat in nude burn and I'm going to put a little bit of that on just for a little bit of added color because because why not all right I'm just going to add this on to my cheeks I put a little bit on I'm going to just add a little bit more and just use my fingertips And I've really been loving just using a cream blush. It's so pretty. It gives such a natural look. And I like to just kind of bring it up on my temples too, just to blend it through. For my highlighter, I'm just going to go in with the Strobe Light Iridescent. And I don't know why I'm flicking it around like that gonna pop a little bit of that on the tops of my cheeks and that just blends beautifully with the cheek heat and it's just kind of bringing out that pinky baby pink look a little bit on my nose so I really I like the uh, born to Clo. it's not my favorite I like the Caudalie totally better I find that gives you a prettier glow but I do like it um, I'll see how it holds up in the heat all right so this is the final makeup look this is the final hair color and curled and the next day and going from like a white blonde to a dark brown and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that you guys are all doing well and I will see you guys again soon